Hello everyone. Google Gemini 3 has just came out, which is awesome. And ChatGPT 5.1 has also just came out. So I wanted to kind of hit on some of the high level differences between these two versions of software. While we still have Gemini 3 coming out and rolling out, it's really important to kind of know what the key differences are. Now, these are the most state of the art updated versions for both of these particular models, OpenAI on one side and Google on the other. Now, from their multi you know, modality standpoint, you are getting a very good unified system on both. You can do text, image, audio, and you can do video analysis on both of them. I think OpenAI has the ability of doing 3D object file generation. So you can do .object files or .stl files, where Gemini maybe still needs to work on that a little bit. But for the most part, when you're looking at Gemini 3, some of the advantages for this is their multimodal reasoning. So basically, you have industry benchmarks that give it a slight edge in those complex tasks. So that's going to be something that is an advantage for the Gemini 3. On top of that, from what we're seeing, coding and the you know complex coding styling that we have you know for a lot of our AI type of tools, it looks like that has been improved quite a bit on Gemini. And you also have the interactive output. So you have the ability to generate functional interactive UIs and tools in the answer, which is actually a really nice feature. For JazzGPT 5.1, some of these strengths are basically their dynamic response system. So they have the instant and thinking modes, which you know the model can actually switch in between. And they offer a balance of different speed for simple queries and deep reflection for complex ones. So it actually gives you a kind of a tailored approach depending on which way you're trying, you know, you're kind of going down. You also have context window and memory. So you have up to 2 million tokens for paid users, which can help a lot for those types of different situations you might find yourself in. And because it's personalized, you can go ahead and kind of enhance your customizability by doing like highly tailored conversations specifically for you, which is really nice. Now at their core, there's still going to be those AI tools that you'd expect. So they're still going to be able to give you a lot of cool little features, lots of cool little advantages in between. So these are some of the best AI tools you can basically get your hands on. So that is going to be quite an advantage for both. But I will probably tell you, if you are looking at something like ChatGPT or Gemini, these two updates are very nice because they do give us slightly more advantages when it comes down to it, which is awesome. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.